Okay, let's go. Whoa! Alpha 6, this is Bravo 239. Comms check, over. This is Alpha 6, read you loud and clear, over. Roger out. Hey man, how's it going? Good. You? Good. All right, guys, it's go time. Let's get our A game on here. Let's go. Do that, Sergeant. Hey, what happened to that girl you met a few years back? You still talking to her? What was her name? Lonnie? Leah? Liana. Liana, yeah, yeah. Nope. I stopped talking to her. I already got something to work, so. Alpha 6, this is Bravo 239. Be advised, we are down. Ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to you live from inside Sergeant Learning's head. It is time for the main event. Let's welcome our boxers into the ring. In this corner, we have Sergeant Learning's counterproductive thoughts weighing into his brain, trying to pull him off his game and interfere with the task at hand, getting that truck towed out of here. And in this corner is Sergeant Learning's resilient responses, ready to fight off those thoughts. Uh, let's have a good, clean fight. <laughs> this is it. This is your last combo. You and all your battles are going to die. <laughs> We did a patrol last week. The gun trucks are solid and proficient. We're gonna get out of here safe. Oh, he just used hard evidence to knock out that thought. The recovery vehicle is gonna break down, then we'll really screw. We'll be sitting ducks and it'll be your fault because you screwed up your job. That's not gonna happen. And a boy! a thorough PMCS on it. And even if it does break down, this is what we're trained for. Our team is proficient and is trained on all types of battle drills. We're gonna take on enemy fire and there's no way you can recover the vehicle fast enough. You're gonna get everyone killed. Not gonna happen. I've practiced this drill multiple times and I'm quick at recovering a vehicle. My command trusts me and by name selected me to run this mission. And the winner is a resilient! What a fight, ladies and gentlemen! and ready to rock and roll. So it's time for our post game on real-time resilience. Starting learning, you know this. RTR is like mental boxing, where you have to fight back against your counterproductive thoughts that are taking you off your A game and preventing you from being fully focused on the task in front of you. What do you mean by counterproductive? It's when there's a situation that requires you to be confident and clear-headed, but your mind's taken over. It's, it's almost like your mind's your own worst enemy. Yeah, exactly. So give me an example of a time where you really need to be focused on the task in front of you, but your mind's getting in your way. Yeah, we were on a convoy and our vehicle broke down. Now, I needed to react fast, but my thoughts were ambushing me. Yeah. You did a great job of fighting back against those counterproductive thoughts. How did you do it? I just came up with evidence to prove that those counterproductive thoughts weren't true. 
and the more vivid the evidence, the more concrete the evidence, the more data-driven the evidence, the stronger your response. Yeah. You know, I'm still working on trying to knock those thoughts out faster, but it surprises me because when someone else is giving me a hard time, I defend myself. But when I'm giving myself a hard time, I just cave in. Yeah, you know, that's true for so many of us. When it's our own brain attacking us, we don't even bother to fight back. But don't worry so much about the speed. That's gonna come with practice. Remember, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. So just concentrate on coming up with strong responses. Speed's gonna build with time. How long do you have to use the skill for? Well, you gotta keep using the skill until you've knocked out those counterproductive thoughts. So the stronger your response, the quicker the opponent goes down. Roger that.